have any names for them?
next big event is Freedom Celebration. And as you know, every year that that is the one event that Chamber struggles extremely hard um, to raise funds for. And um, it just doesn't happen um, overnight. We have to really go out and solicit the funds for the, that event. And uh, it takes thousands of dollars to pull off a 20-minute, 25-minute firework show. Um, and it takes several months for us to raise that money. So with that, um, those efforts are being put together now. Um, I know that we have Eric Fowler and Jerry Burkholz and Linda Hook um, and myself who are on that committee this, this year as well. And anybody else who wants to be on that committee is more than welcome to um, join our efforts. We will start to meet one day next week. The time and date has not been determined just yet. But if you're interested in joining us in that cleaning um, effort, we definitely encourage you to jump aboard because we can use <coughs> all the extra um, help that we can get. Um, and it's not just about going and asking people to to just throw money at the event. It's actually selling the event and, and, and paying tribute to our veterans because that's actually what the day is about. I'm um, sure it's, it's all nice and fun to have fireworks, but it's also to pay tribute to them to say thank you to them for their efforts. So we'd love to tell people on the committee, and it's not, it shouldn't just be those who are on our board because we have other things to do. We'd like to get more of our membership involved, so if you, you know, have an interest in that, we'd love to have you be a part of the team. Um, I want to say, um, just welcome real quick to a few new members, um, just in the last, actually a couple of days, a couple of weeks. Uh, Rachel Studio has um, joined our, our new Rico USA with Brandon Meyer is a new member. Uh, American Red Cross is a new member as of actually this morning. Uh, Shane Daily Money Management is a new member. Annette Roth uh, is an individual member. And Sunshine Ramon Dean Service is uh, currently a new member. So our family can come in with this or if you can fill out. So, and, um, so we're very excited about all of the members that are coming in to call our future and signing down here. She's got another membership packet that's there available. So um, it looks like we'll have a and b joining our hours here. So um, that's very good news um, for Chamber. We, we love new members. So that just means that we're doing something right. Um, is there any other business before we introduce our program? Anybody have any other announcements to make? No? Okay, well with that, I'm going to, I think Gary, I don't see any of your other commissioners here with me yet. Oh, no, no, I think they're just leaving you hanging. Um, we have our, our presiding commissioner, Gary Nelson, here, who's going to give us an update on what's going on with the county government and what to expect uh, this coming year. So with that, Gary Nelson. about 20 minutes or so. That'd be I great. I can stretch it out that long. <laughs> One second. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, you asked me to do a state of the county address, <laughs> and our county is doing extremely well right now. Uh, I wasn't to, to say that six years ago. Six years ago, we were in the red. We uh, were selling some property and equipment just to pay the bills. Uh, we sold these tire up at the terrace office, I think, for $80,000. This just pinned up $9,000 in the black that year. Uh, saying that that needs to change, the sheriff ran a law enforcement sales tax to, for countywide services, and with that, we started increasing our revenues. Another thing that happened was all some cement came on board with their new cement plant, and we're getting money from that. So now we are back where we should be with any ending balances four to five hundred thousand dollars. And with that we're able to do programs that the county has never done before. We give the city seventeen thousand five hundred dollars the last few years to help the maintenance on the ballparks. Uh, we give the uh, tourism five thousand dollars the last couple of years. This money we didn't have to give away five and six years ago. So uh, we are supporting them as many things as we can in the county. We, we, 
We think of the county in three phases, mostly the courthouse, the county government, that phase is one, the road and bridge is two, and the sheriff's department is three. I'm not going to talk about the sheriff's department, so I'm going to let him do that himself. So as far as county government, uh, we've got some good elected officials. Every one of them is dedicated. They want to do their job well. Uh, they've got good staff, all of them. Due to the law enforcement sales tax, we were able to increase our pay for our workers and we were able to insur uh, increase our insurance benefits. So we were able to attract uh, better workers and better uh, hired skills and tech workers. Uh, we'll move on to the road and bridge department. It was about like the county. It was just keeping its head above water until we passed the county road tax. In passing the county road tax, we advertised it to give the city 23.5% of it, Bloomingdale 1.5%, St. Mary's 1.5%, and Special Road District 16%. So we realized about 58% of that tax. And uh, so that generates about $500,000 a year to pay, back, to pay for our road for it. Everybody in the county thinks their road is the worst, and that's typical. We're, we're paving them on a criteria of a car count, how much it costs us to upkeep the roads, and the safety issues involved, and if it's a through road or not. The through road gets priority to the dead end roads. Yes, Tom, I know that's not right, but it is true. Another big thing that's helped our road and bridge was with the Olson Cement plant. We we get money from them from our pilot payments that they give us every year. Uh, the probably most important thing we get from Olson right now is our grant money. We get three grants: one for three hundred thousand dollars, one for two hundred thousand, and one for one hundred thousand. The one hundred thousand is an economic development grant, which we've given the port two hundred thirty-five thousand dollars off of in the last three years to help get the port where it is today. Right now it's about 10 months from being able to open. The other one is a $200,000 community better grant, which we give money for everything. We bought sheriff cars. I think we just bought computers for uh, Eric's cars, the city cars. We bought diapers for young mothers. Uh, we've done a work on uh, the Lions Club. We give them, I think, $40,000 for their project down there. Fire departments, all fire departments, we bought fire hoses to make payments on fire trucks. Uh, there's two numbers. We usually give away about 20, we try to keep it to $10,000 for everybody that requests money so we can get more people money. Uh, that, then we go to the $300,000 infrastructure fund we get from Holson. That money is to be spent on county property. And that's why the Chamber of Commerce now has its own home on the courthouse square. Uh, that cost us $78,000, and we did it out of wholesome infrastructure money. Uh, if it wasn't for that, they wouldn't have got done. And you'd still be down in your little hole with Carl Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just got done with the prosecuting attorney, attorney's new office. Uh, we got that done. It cost us about $122,000. He's in that office now. We converted the old jail into his office. The building was falling down. If we didn't do something with it, it was, it was just going to be a bigger eyesore of all time for the city and the county. So we uh, thought that would be the best, the best thing to do. We, get Carl, we thought Carl needed to be in the courthouse anyway. He did not want to be, but we felt that that's the best place for him. So. People would find them good night as easy. Um, other things, we are going to start spending some of the infrastructure money on county roads after this year. After we get all courthouse square, we're being selfish the first year. We first couple of years we tried to spend it all on the courthouse and the courthouse property downtown. Uh, the recycling, we you know we we get some money to recycling so they can keep their equipment upgraded. Any county property, the community center here, I think, Brad, you just did a project for $22,000. If you ever went to the parking lot, the asphalt was busting through, the water didn't drain off of it right. When they first built this, 
say, Sheriff? Hope you're getting ready. Uh, I've I got to say something about the Sheriff. The county and the Sheriff's Department have to work close together. Uh, if we have a problem, we call the Sheriff who takes care of the community. If he has a problem, he needs something, he calls us. You know, we do what we can to help him out. But we get but a lot of counties, the Sheriff and County Commissioners don't even speak because they don't see eye to eye on things. Uh, we're not like that. We're blessed to have a good working relationship with our Sheriff's Department. We feel it needs to be that way. And he feels it needs to be that way. Just you know, simple things like we approve his budget every year, but yet he come down and ask if we orders anything. Do we care? Do we care? If we, I buy this now. Most sheriffs don't do that. They got their budgets approved. They just buy what they want. They don't. They don't worry about it. So, uh, now Randy and Ray's on finish. <laughs> <laughs>
But I left all my notes out of court. Uh, what Joe said is, is true. That's another thing we've done with our wholesome infrastructure money. We put the three towers in St. Genevieve out of that infrastructure fund. Today, they're installing one at Bloomsdale and Lake Forest with the same coverage. So, this is either outdoor warning systems. If you're on the lake at Lake Forest or you're outside and you're that tire goes off, go off, you know they're four able to head your way. Uh, is there any other questions or comments before I get Mr. Schultz up here? Okay, sure. You want to come up and tell your end up? I decided I want to go back and talk about the law enforcement sales tax just a little bit. We passed that 2006, 2007, somewhere in there, and I want to thank everybody.